But I think by the time we get to the end of the year, this guy's going to do enough in practice and in the uh, opportunities he's gotten to potentially be a guy that we that we put on the roster full time. Hey, Where would we kind of rank Jalen Bridges' odds as, as far as earning a full spot on this Suns team by the end of the year? I would probably go like plus 250, plus 300. I, I think just the fact that they have 15 players on the roster right now makes it difficult. So it would be plus odds for me. But I do think out of the two-way guys, he has the best shot just in terms of what this roster currently needs and the fact that like, Come trade deadline, we're going to be talking about probably four or five guys that, you know, we would be willing to move maybe more than that. And if that frees up a roster spot, I feel like Jalen Bridges has a good shot just because of those two trademark skills he brings to the table. Yeah, I'm going plus 200. I'm going plus 200. And and again, the question was end of the season, right? So I, mm. I don't think we'll start the year. I think it'll be a two-way. I think the trade deadline will sh open some things up. Um, but I think by the time we get to the end of the year, this guy's going to do enough in practice and in the uh, opportunities he's gotten to potentially be a guy that we that we put on the roster full time. I I don't know. I'm going to have to see see it in, you know, regular season if he gets some spot minutes, what he does in the G League. I liked what I saw in summer league and hopefully it can translate. It also depends on who gets hurt, what goes on. Like you said, Gerald, is there, is there a move to be made here? Uh, who does it involve? Uh, you know, and, and does that open up more minutes you know, for potentially another wing guy? I don't know. There are a lot of factors. I'll probably put it at a plus 500 right now. Ooh, Ooh. That's pretty high, but honestly, like, I don't blame you. Espo. We do know that Everything with Summer League, you have to take with a grain of salt, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful. So we completely understand that sometimes Summer League is not fully indicative of what these guys are going to be in the actual NBA.